If only it was 1998, the words we were all thinking after this race, what happened in 1998 with Dale Earnhardt could have happened again tonight, but NASCAR missed out on the perfect opportunity that would have left this year's 2023 Daytona 500, the most memorable great American race of this new generation of NASCAR. Kyle Busch spoke on this directly and I'm going to show you what he said, so stay tuned on that. NASCAR celebrated their 75th year in the Daytona 500 this past Sunday, the race we've all been waiting for. I know I've sure been dying for this season to start back up, but first I just want to say congratulations to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. It was really cool to see him win and I'm really happy for him, so all respect to him. JTG Doherty and Chevy, but it should have never gotten to that point, and I think we all would agree on this one. I think it was just kind of a lame ending to a great race. I feel like everyone's thinking this, but no one is saying it, you know what I mean? We were finally nearing the end of the great American race within the final laps as Richard Childress Racing took control of the race. RCR driver Kyle Busch in the number eight, that's still so weird to say out loud, became the lead car with teammate Austin Dillon following him. So yeah, RCR was in a good spot after RFK was dominating for a good while, but then a caution was thrown at lap 200, and that was the worst possible situation that could have happened to Kyle Busch and RCR there. They had that inside line down pat, and all the fours were following them this time. Rowdy spoke on this himself, and I'll show you right here. Quick reminder to subscribe. It's free and easy. Go do it. Subscribe, boys. Hit that like button. Now, here's Kyle Busch. Thank you to Noah Lewis for allowing me to provide you all with this, his links will be in the description. Here we go. I think this is the first time I led lap 200, so I wish it was 1998 rules. Um. So if you remember, Kyle Busch even said right after the caution was called, back in 1998, that would be the win, boys. Obviously referring to Dale Earnhardt's iconic Daytona 500 win, where it was a similar situation. I also found it ironic how both Dale and Busch were driving for RCR, and both times were for their first Daytona 500 win. And uh, but. And here, Bush says it again in the post-race interview, and he clearly was not happy about it. Obviously, who would? But I love, <laughs> I love how someone was chuckling in the background, anticipating a little smirk from Kyle or something, something humane. And you can see Kyle just look at him dead in the eyes with this, and I, I'm just not effing around. Look, and the message was clearly sent, and the guy just stops laughing immediately. But it, anyway, that's that's what really pissed me off, honestly. NASCAR's overtime rules really screwed Kyle Busch out of his last box to check on his Hall of Fame resume, and it really screwed the fans out of a, an amazing ending to an amazing product. Those who say they're fine with this, well, what if it screwed Earnhardt back in the day? Would it be okay then? Man, I don't know, I, I, I just think NASCAR missed out on a great storyline that would have taken the headlines on this one. I, I understand the rules are the rules, but man, it it could have been such a better ending. If, if those were the glory days back in 1998 with Earnhardt, why why change something like that you know it's just this whole thing of like why are we trying to change things and fix things that are not broken you're just breaking them you know and this is i feel like this is a good example of that you know so that, that's just my way of thinking on it but hey it was it was a great race and i'm excited for the rest of the season to come and relieved that it's finally here and i'm sure you guys agree with me on that i'm gonna end it here thank you all for tuning in i hope you all enjoyed Comment what you think. Do you think NASCAR missed out on a great ending in this year's Day 2500? Do you think Kyle Busch got screwed? Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe real quick. See you on the next one.